I mentioned um, somebody asked one of my clients emailed me and she said you know how are you going and I said you know what I'm actually I'm actually feeling a bit bit in a funk and she said that's crazy I'm feeling in this funk too and then the next morning we had a group coaching session planned and two of the people on the mastermind for the group coaching brought up the same thing you know I'm feeling really in a funk and we dug into it and we realized that for all of us these feelings are being triggered by the current situation that are actually a reflection of the past from things that have happened in our past that have made us feel those feelings then and they're coming up now and so this like the the awareness of that is powerful just to have that awareness of okay i know what this feeling is i know why i'm having it and i know what i can do is incredible it's just that the things that i've done previously to overcome my anxiety I've always been active, dynamic, and they've involved leaving the house. And that's leaving me screwed now because I can't leave the house. I can't avoid this trigger. I am stuck within the four walls. So like, what can I do? And the other thing that has become really like obvious is that another learning I had through the recovery from anxiety was that that feeling of anxiety definitely represents some sort of lack of alignment with our soul energy and our soul goal and obviously part of that journey of healing and growth was to really connect with who I am that identity that actually belongs to me instead of the one that I'd taken on through all those years of trying to stay safe from my mind the, the reality that my mind presented to me that, anxiety, that that identity was never me. And so I'd, I'd really connected with my soul energy and my soul goal. And my life represented that, right? And right now it doesn't. It's not, it's not me to be stuck inside four walls. It's not me to have all this time on my hand. Like I love being busy. I love being dynamic. And I threw myself into that. That first week of self-isolation, I was like, brilliant. I've got this mastermind. I'm coaching every day. I started a support group for those people struggling through the coronavirus in my Facebook group. And I just made myself so busy. And that was completely the wrong thing to do because I think the the final piece of healing for me is to still to, to still learn how to connect with me and to be still and to not distract myself and to keep continuing to connect with those parts of myself that aren't healed that haven't broken through. Oh, I've got loads of people online. Hey, Molly. Hey, Suzanne. And so I'm going to share with you the four things that I've decided to do. So the first thing is I'm swapping out my daily exercise for some yoga. And this is hilarious because I, I just, hey, <laughs> Suzanne, I have fought doing yoga for years, but I think the fast paced, high intensity interval training, kickboxing, like it's just me, it's just me distracting and I, I need to push myself to connect in. So the first thing I'm doing, I've signed up to Allo Moves. They've got a 14 day free trial and I'm doing some yoga. I started this morning and I was actually quite surprised at how hard it was. It was really hard. It was harder than the burpee kick sits yesterday. Um, number two, I'm getting back into my morning routine. I'd let that slip because I don't have to get up for anything. I don't have to go to bed on time. Like all of this kind of routine I had had fallen away. And with that, my morning routine had fallen away. And I'm angry with myself about that because this morning routine I do, I call it my superhuman ritual. It makes me feel fucking superhuman. It connects me with that soul energy. It connects me with my soul goal. It helps me to start my day so invigorated and so full of energy and so powerfully committed to, you know, why, why I'm here. And I'd let that go across the last four days. So Suzanne says she loves this, her anxiety, yeah although you're hiding it. Don't hide it. Don't hide it. There's nothing to be ashamed about. It's telling us something. It's always telling. And every time, this is the second time my anxiety has reared its ugly head in the last 12 months. And the other time I was completely out of alignment with my soul goal as well. So like really question, like where are you out, align, out of alignment with your core values? My core value, my number one is freedom. And I don't have that right now. I can't go anywhere. I can't leave the house. I, I think that core value of freedom is being pushed down and that's where this anxiety is rising. 
my soul energy calls me to the to nature and to adventure and all of these things and I, I can't do them and so we have to focus on what we can do and what we can um, Suzanne said not totally hiding it but man it's tearing yeah it's rearing its ugly head I totally understand so focus on what you can do think of what you can do think about what it's trying to tell you are you connected with your soul goal are you connected with your soul energy is there healing to do within you that you've distracted from like I've continued to distract from this final feeling where it's probably not the final one when we dig into this box it just gets deeper but this feeling of trapped and stuck I have to deal with that have to heal from that and so the yoga my superhuman morning routine which if you reach out to me I'll share with you Paula's watching um, the third thing I'm doing is upgrading my physical space if I'm gonna be fucking trapped and stuck in here I'm gonna make it glorious so I have been decluttering I have been cleaning I've been putting the candles out the incense out I've been making it beautiful and it feels so damn good and it's a really good workout I've been track tracking the steps and the calories on my watch and man who needs the gym right so number three I'm upgrading my physical space Sandra's watching um, and number four is I have like I say so last week I did seven days of free support for the coronavirus in my in my in my private group I turned it into a little support group we did we covered anxiety we covered overcoming fear we covered all sorts of things to to help you if you were struggling with the coronavirus and I decided to extend it and this week because of what I'm going through and because I keep seeing people sharing the same thing we are honoring you and your your needs so the whole week is focused on honoring you and your needs identifying what those needs are and figuring out how you honor them so if you'd like to join me in the group please reach out by messenger and I'll add you in Suzanne says that she has this, the Fitbit Versa 2 and I'm never without it except when it's on the charger good this thing I swear to God it saved me it really helped me to identify where in my life I was out of alignment where in my life I was being triggered so I could just clear that space to start doing that that healing because anybody who's had anxiety will know that it's there's just no escape from your mind like your mind's running a hundred miles an hour with these thoughts and the the energy of that the the feeling in your chest it's like hands around your throat and that's what frightened me a little bit the last couple of days was instead of waking up with this beautiful space in my mind where I just immediately lie in gratitude for whatever I want to pray for that day it's just full of thought and full of crap and I just want to get control of that again and I know now I have the awareness of what's triggering it it's just an emotional memory it's just reminding me of those times gone by when I when I felt that trapped and stuck maybe it's even reminding me of that time in of anxiety when I didn't leave the house on purpose when I confined myself to my own four walls because I was so bad that I was agoraphobic. I didn't want to open the door. I didn't want to open the curtains. I didn't want to leave the house, do the shopping. Like maybe it's triggering those emotional memories, but whatever emotional memories get triggered at any time, it's a sign that we have to heal them. And to heal them, we have to connect in. We have to acknowledge them. We have to understand them. And then we have to let go. So in terms of this time, in terms of this space, Let's use it. Let's use it to connect with ourselves. Let's use it to find out if we don't know what we're here for and keep clarifying that vision. And let's use it to figure out how we realize that vision into reality. Um, Suzanne says, I love your energy. Thank you for all the, oh, <laughs> thank you for all the value you bring. It's no problem. We go through these things to teach others how to get through these things, right? That's what, that's my sole goal. Um, and yeah, and if you do 
connect with that soul goal or you want to connect with that soul goal right now, now is your biggest opportunity. Like the world needs us so much more than ever before right now to bring our own talents and gifts and showcase them, to bring them to people who are going through things that we can support. And the other thing I'm doing is starting a free challenge on Friday to help you do that online. So to bring all those gifts and expertise and actually bring them, showcase them online in a way that helps you to communicate powerfully with more people. So more powerfully with more people and helps you to create something out of this crisis so that you walk out of this crisis better than you walked in. So I've offered so much. I'm just going to do a quick summary. If you want the superhuman re morning routine, if you want to get into that with me, then reach out by messenger and I'll, I'll add you to my mind dojo, which is where I keep all my free resources. Number two, free challenge starting Friday. If you have a soul goal, if you have a purpose, if you're connected to it and you want to just know how to connect more powerfully with more people to deliver that gift and help people out, then message me as well and I'll share the details of that. And I wish you the most beautiful rest of day. I'm going to get going and um, yeah, I guess we should finish with namaste. Bye-bye.